Welcome back. Today I have Boxy Charm from May. This box is $28 a month, $25 a month. I'll put somewhere right here how much it actually is. And it has like $125 guaranteed value. Um, they have been advertising that their boxes are valued at like $175. They're mostly not. But I still keep it because I do tend to get at least like $50 worth of value out of it. So I'm still like doubling what I'm spending. So let's jump into this box and see what I got. I did make choice. Um, yeah. So the theme is Super Bloom. And I have the card ready to go with values and like details if I need them for like products that I've never heard of before. Yet again, we're back with paper. This really doesn't do much of anything. This is just waste. Um, I don't even know that can the recycling facilities recycle this most of the time just because of the type of paper it is. Um, my dad used to um, be a corrections officer at a recycling plant in my hometown. So I think about these things. Did you know that pizza boxes and frozen goods boxes can't be recycled? Because I didn't until like a long week like, until he started working there. First up is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. This is valued at $70 and this is 50 milliliters. This says it uh, is a moisturizer, but it also exfoliates, um, revives dull, dry, lackluster looking skin. Um, Remove dead surface skin cells while smoothing lines and wrinkles to reveal younger looking skin. Um, okay. I like moisturizers. I don't know how I feel about an exfoliating moisturizer, but I guess this is a chemical exfoliant. This must be a chemical exfoliant because there's not any like microbeads or grit or anything in the, ex in the moisturizer. So, I'll definitely draw this out, give it a fair chance. Um, but I like moisturizers. I don't like $70 moisturizers. I don't tend to spend more than like $50 for a moisturizer unless it's just like amazing. So we'll have to see if this is amazing. Next up is the Yensa Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge. This is valued at $18. Um, I will definitely have to wash this and see um, if this red pigment comes out a ton because like Beauty Blenders, the pink comes out. Um, other red beauty sponges, the red pigment comes out a ton. Um, and yeah, I mean, I like, I think the, like the point in would be good for like under the eye and like foundation. Um, and like I use like chisel edges like this, like flat edges for powder. So this could be like a good all-in-one tool. Um, $18 for a sponge when Beauty Blenders cost $20. It has to be phenomenal though. Um, but it's very squishy. Like, squish, squish, squish. And I will like wash it, use it, use it wet, and see how well it performs. Like how, if it like super sucks up foundation and concealer. Um, or if it doesn't. But I'll have to try it out. But I did just try the Profusion sponge. I will link it, I think it's this side. Um, in my what's new in the drugstore video and it was only like five or six dollars and I'm like using that like every single week. So eighteen dollars for a sponge is really hard when there are really good competitors out there under ten dollars nowadays. Next up is my choice item. This is the Item Beauty by Addison Ray Air Hug Concealer and I chose mine in shade 100. So this is the box. And then we will open it. I've only had a couple of item products and their packaging always trips me out. Um, you don't just like open it like a regular box. It's got like a perforated thing. So this is what shade 100 looks like. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty good shade match for me. I will just have to see how like much it sinks into my under eye lines because Addison Ray is like what 21? Um, She's not thinking about that when she's creating a foundation or concealer or anything like that. Um, and I'm 30. I have to think about those things. So my blog post will be the first link in the description and it will have like full details. What I thought about it, how it wore, if it broke up, how it wore with powder, how it wore without. 
finish all that jazz and did I say this is valued at $18 um it says it is medium to full coverage has tons of antioxidants and it says it's a creaseless concealer but we all know that Tarte came out with a creaseless concealer and it was super creasy so we'll see next up is the V Cosmetic creamy liquid velvet lipstick and mine is in shade bubbly this is valued at $22 and it, the card says it's a new brand of boxy um <laughs> this is very pink I'm trying to wear more pinks and like get out of my comfort zone um, but it's very difficult um, I will swatch this on my arm see how it goes see how it swatches how it draws and all that and I might try it. And last up is the Skin Ink Serum Glow Filter. And this is valued at $50. And this is one ounce. The beads in Skin Ink's products are always like super trippy because they look like they defy gravity, which they do. Like, you can just like move it around. They don't go anywhere. Um, so this is like obviously like a super heavy product. Niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to give you a selfie filter in real life. It's just, just a serum. Um, but it's two serums technically. So I will definitely try this out. See if this like gives any like pigment to my skin also because this is this rose gold micro capsule things are like super dark compared to my like ghastliness. Um, <laughs> So, but $50 for an ounce of serum isn't like a super bad price that I've like started noticing. The serums that I like are tend to be in that like $35 to $55 range. So, but I have so many of them that I will never run out. And this box was valued at $178. Um, so that's pretty good. Like that's not a terrible value for the boxy charm whatsoever. That's still over the $175 they were advertising. And that's much better than the 125 that I have been getting recently. Um, I'm pleased with my choice. I'm not so sure about the moisturizer. I'm not so sure about the serum. I'm not pretty pleased about the lipstick. I really wish they would take the like, like Ipsy, take your survey or whatever you want to call it, into thought when they send you items. BoxyCharm does not. Maybe now that Ipsy has bought them and they are like talking about maybe combining BoxyCharm and Ipsy Plus. Um, maybe you'll start getting like more customized items. And the sponge, $18 for a sponge just seems a little pricey for me, but it's completely different shape than I have seen. So I don't know, $178 for a box is really, really good. So I'm quite pleased with this box. But that's Boxy Charm for May. I hope you'll give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next box. Bye.